Hey everybody, it's Miss Castleman here. Um, this is my first time making a video like this and I'm very nervous. So hopefully it'll go okay. Um, Miss Shoal and Miss Griffin came out to my farm this morning to pet my alpacas and read this story to you called Maka the Alpaca. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw an alpaca. So you can follow along at home. Um, I would try to find just plain white paper and start with a pencil so that you can erase if you need to, but I'm going to draw with a marker so you can see what I'm doing, okay? All right. I'm going to start out with a cloud shape. Now, if you're watching this, today is Friday. There's a little bit of sun out today and there's some nice white puffy clouds in the sky. So you can go outside and look at the clouds and kind of see what they look like. Um, but I'm going to start with a cloud. This is going to be the alpaca's um, hair on his head. Because if you watched the video of Miss Shoal, you probably noticed how much puffy fur the alpaca have on top of their heads. Um, so I'm starting out with a cloud and I want it to kind of fill almost the width of my paper and I want it to be up kind of towards the top of my paper. So I have room down here to do the alpaca's face and neck, but I still have room up here to draw the alpaca's ears, okay? So if you don't have it in exactly the right spot, maybe erase and move it a little bit so it's kind of towards the top of your paper and nice and wide. We want our alpaca to fill the whole page. Um, next, I'm gonna make the alpaca ears. Um, so I'm going to come off the top of this cloud shape and I'm going to draw his ears sticking up out of the top of his little fuzzy head, just like that. And they're kind of curved inward a little bit. Ava says that these are more like llama ears than alpaca ears, but I am not an expert on the differences between the animals like Ava is. Um, all right, so next I'm gonna do the, uh, the face part of the animal. So I'm gonna come from the bottom of the cloud and I'm just gonna draw a U shape. And that's gonna be the bottom, kind of the, the bottom part of the animal's face, okay? And then this is real easy. Okay, we're gonna do the alpaca's head and neck. And this part, if you look at the book, it's actually kind of hard to see where the head stops and the neck starts because alpacas, especially this time of year, they have a lot of fur. They're very furry and fuzzy and puffy. Um, so we're gonna, it'll be kind of just a curvy line that'll go all the way down the paper. So I'm gonna come over here to the side of my cloud and I'm gonna make this kind of curvy line. And I know you guys know all about different kinds of lines from what we've done in art class. So that's the, the fur around my alpaca's face and that's the fur around his neck down there. So we've got the basic shape of the alpaca now. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm gonna do Let's see, I'm gonna do the alpacas, what do we call these again? Snouts, right? Is that right? Is that what we call it? The snout? Okay, so we're gonna do just kind of a big circle inside this face, inside of that U shape. And this is gonna be the alpaca's snout. Okay, everybody with me so far? All right. Um, and then I want to do some eyes up in here so I can do a circle on each side. And we can't just have a circle for an eye. We have to have something inside of it, right? So we normally do another circle and then I'm going to color that in, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a white part showing in there. And that's the little highlight that you see inside of the eye. Another circle, color it in, and leave a little bit of a highlight. And if you want to, if you have a fancy alpaca, you could give it some 
eyelashes. Okay, and then I wanna do um, the tip of my alpaca's nose and I wanna do his mouth. So this can be a little bit tricky. We're gonna draw basically a Y shape, but the top of the Y is gonna be a little bit curved like that. Do you see how I did that? It's a little bit curved. And then we're gonna come straight down, okay? And then we're gonna make another U for the alpaca's mouth. He's looking cute, I love him. Um, and then my alpaca is gonna have his tongue out just a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little half circle there and that's my alpaca's tongue, okay? Now, at this point, we can just add details to make him look furry. We can use lines, we can use different colors, we can fill in, I'm gonna do a line inside the ear to make it look like the ears go in. Um, I can do some lines down here to make it look like he's got a really bushy, furry neckline around there. I can do, um, let's see if you guys remember some different types of lines that you've learned about in art class. Maybe a, what do you think? I've got two kiddos watching me. What about a swirly line, you think? What? I'm going to make your ears do that as well. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to do some swirly lines inside the alpacas. Um, um, forehead hair, okay? So let's do some just kind of swirly lines to decorate in here. What do you think about that, Ava? <laughs> cool. And then we can start adding some color. Oh, I want to do some lines inside of the ears there. And we, we can't forget a background. So we also need to have something going on in this space back here. So maybe we have a line coming across and this is, this would be the ground and this would be the sky. We call that the horizon line. So maybe we have, um, so we color in some blue and we color in the sun or some clouds back here behind our alpaca and alpacas live out in fields and they love to eat grass. So maybe we have some grass going back in here around the sides of our alpaca. I hope everybody has some crayons or some markers at home and you can add color to your alpaca. Um, our alpaca here at the farm, are one of them is solid black. Another one is white and gray. Um, you could have a brown alpaca. You could have alpacas that are multicolored. Um, so you could color his fur any different combination of black, brown, white, or gray, or Maybe you have a rainbow colored alpaca and you just make him whatever color you want to. That might be really cool too. So have fun coloring him. I hope I get to see some fabulous alpacas when we're all back together at school. I hope you guys are working really hard on your NTI work and I hope you've had a chance to do some artwork while you've been at home. I look forward to seeing you guys at school again. Bye.